What's good guys? So I've always thought, you know, I should maybe make another animal video and I just saw a snake right over there. I'm gonna go catch it. I'm just put the camera down and I can give you guys a better look at this guy. What's up guys? Just found a king snake. It's actually a scarlet king snake. They're pretty small. Well, this guy is, they can get up to about two feet. Well, that's like how the big, big ones get, but you usually find them about this size. This guy's in pretty decent shape. Uh, they don't usually bite. They're really not that aggressive, but and they're not venomous, but they do eat venomous snakes. Like you can see them eating rattlesnakes or even like other coral snakes, which look just like these guys with the patterns. Yeah, but this guy does have a little mark if you can see there that is most likely due to either another snake biting that this guy was eating but these guys can also eat like like lizards and voles and even other birds but um yeah i just saw this guy i actually saw birds like getting kind of aggressive with the road and i was like what in the world is that i got video of it but um then i walked up to it and i'm like yo that's sick it's a king snake that's awesome so there it is it's really cool. Yeah, blue jays and other birds like mocking jays, stuff like that, or even cardinals will sometimes pick on these guys and they'll try to like kind of snap at them. But these guys can eat birds, like little, you know, fly catchers or gnat catchers that these guys might even eat when they get big enough. But yeah, these guys, believe it or not, do eat other snakes. I know it's hard to believe because this guy's really little, but when they get considerable enough size, they can but these guys usually don't bite and you'll see uh yeah you'll see these guys in a lot of places mostly southeast so you know you're talking carolinas georgia maybe even the north part of florida but yeah and these guys are really cool find and if you ever see one of these guys now just make sure that it's a scarlet king snake which is this and not a coral snake because coral snakes are venomous and that that had hurt so um, just make sure you know what you're doing if you see something like this you know just like little guy like this trying to cross a road and you see he's in danger I'd say recommend picking him up and just kind of escorting him across the road there because you know it's not every day you see this and they're really just amazing creatures no he's right now he's really docile I think he knows I'm not out to harm him so right now he's just kind of chilling on my hand and uh, just kind of wrapping, see how he's kind of wrapping himself, like I'm not putting himself there. I'm not putting him there, but he's just kind of wrapping himself around the, uh, my hand. It's pretty sweet. Huh. Cool find. Ugh. Let's see if we can get him a tiny bit inside of here, because there are a lot of cars here that are passing. For instance, there's one passing right now, so, uh, let's see if we can just... Kinda get him a bit inside of here. All right. There we go. So he kinda unwraps himself there. And these guys will go right under the pines. You won't even know they're there. Sometimes it's unfortunate, but a lot of people do step on them because they're they really just go right under here. Let me just move this so you guys can get a better look. Do you see how he's going right in there? He's just going right underground. And there, look at that. He's just completely gone. So when seeing the Scarlet King Snake, a lot of times you are gonna see them on roads, you know, crossing. What's up guys, I just saw a really cool type of snake, a ribbon snake, and this guy's just chilling there, eating a fish, and I just happened to spot him in all the brush. Super cool snake to find. These guys, um, they're not super rare in their range, but I didn't even know we had them in this preserve. So really cool thing to see here. Um, yeah, these guys are, usually have three, 
three like almost like ribbons or stripes running down the back and they're a lot of times confused for garter snakes because they look super close to garter snakes and they're super closely related to garter snakes. I was for a ribbon snake he was pretty decent size most likely an adult he was about two feet which is pretty great size actually for them they can probably get up to two and a half three feet but for an adult that's still very good size and when i first saw this guy this guy was just eating a fish which is our main like food source you usually find them around ponds lakes and now these guys are active during the day so usually like cotton mouse you'll see during the day they'll just be sitting there because they're nocturnal snakes. But these guys, yeah, they're active during the day, so you'll see them out a lot eating during the day. Same with the broad-banded water snake. It's a really cool thing to see. So a lot of times they're confused for the garter snake, but these guys are a lot skinnier, and their heads are kind of bigger size, and they got bigger eyes, one of the ways to tell. They're, they get eaten by weasels and raptors and other birds of prey like that. So they, you know, kind of tend to stay towards the ground, but you can find them in trees. And that's one of the things with the super long skinny body, it's great for scaling up trees and stuff like that and really getting a good hold. But um, you'll find these guys usually around lakes. They are not venomous. So if you get bit, you're gonna be okay. Same with the garter snake. And they even rarely do bite. Now if you're like me, and you didn't learn anything from this, and you just saw me fool around with some bug, come on Caleb, I didn't subscribe for this trash. Uh, I got some uh, epic snake pickup lines for you to take home to the mother, alright? Check this out. Alright. Are you a snake? Because you're quite a catch. <laughs> um. Are you a scarlet king snake? Cause I have enormous biceps. 